right on to other things and that would be our weather here and our, our fire alerts here the red flag warning in the mountains Juliet is one side of this wind story the other one is what the winds doing down here in the lower elevations where we all live and there really is two stories to this the one you've been experiencing, obviously, is how windy it's been for your part of the Bay Area. We had a 41-mile-an-hour gust already in Santa Rosa, Oakland 32, and San Jose at 36. We're still kind of in the strongest point of this wind event. So it, the numbers are still pretty close to this right now. But once the sun goes down, the winds down here where we live are also going to start to weaken. You can see how this is going to turn when we look at this on the high resolution forecast model. Because as of right now, here we are, 530, strongest winds are coming down from the north over here, off the coast. And there are some offshore winds over here, but for the most part, what a lot of us are feeling are those northerly winds coming down the coast. Watch what happens as we get into the overnight hours. A little bit more of an offshore component takes over. That means it's going to weaken the stronger winds that we're feeling down here at the lower elevations. But it's going to keep the wind going in the mountains. Look up north. Santa Rosa has gone down to an 11 mile an hour breeze tomorrow morning. It's still gusting near 40 up on Mount St. Helena. And Mount Hamilton will be doing the same thing down in the South Bay. But for the majority of the rest of us, the wind starts to calm down. That's why the wind advisory expires tonight at 8 o'clock. The red flag warning in the mountains does not expire till tomorrow at 5 in the afternoon. And you can also see the dry air side of this. It's a pretty well-defined line there, but it really dries out tomorrow before a gorgeous onshore surge takes over. And going into Wednesday, you can see how this fire weather event is over. There is your intense improvement in relative humidity as the strong onshore flow takes over. Uh, and we just turn a huge corner. Morning lows tomorrow are going to be cool. That's the other aspect of this is the air's dried out and we've pulled down some cool air from the north. You got to go down to 42 for the morning low in Livermore. It's going to feel kind of chilly tomorrow in the Tri-Valley. Santa Rosa will be chilly at 40. Most other locations in the upper 40s, low 50s, you're still going to notice it. It's not terrible, but it's going to feel cooler tomorrow morning. And the daytime highs are staying on the cool side as well for a couple of days. And we're going to get some reinforcing cool air. There is another fall system trying to get here that one here's the one giving us our winds but the one out here if we put the future cast on it there's rain in that and if we take that line it's coming our way right there that gets us ahead into tuesday but if we look at this closer to home put a little more resolution on it and play this forward we're looking at tuesday there's that line of showers it looks promising here this gets us into wednesday and Wednesday, you're going to see in the seven-day forecast, there's a cloud on there and the temperatures go down a little, but we don't get any rain because that system pretty much falls apart as it passes by. We might get a drop or two through Wednesday in the morning, late morning, and that would be about it. By the afternoon, it's like it never even happened. And if you look at the uh, cumulative rainfall totals, it's the same story here where we get a couple hundredths of an inch of rain up on the far north coast, and right now the rain gauge down here doesn't really budge. But as you look across the seven day forecast, you can see a cloud or two shows up there. It certainly gets a little cooler for Wednesday, but then as soon as it passes, we're right back off to the races. Next week in its low 80s in San Jose, 68 degrees tomorrow, 81 on Saturday. Same story for the inland valleys of the East Bay. Mid 70s tomorrow, mid 80s by next weekend. So there will be quite the turnaround and you, you get a mixed bag of all that fall has to offer. You got your wind events, you got your cooler temperatures, and then you have sunny and 80. Coming back for next week, and I'll, I'll have more on this in the six o'clock hour, guys. Back over to you.